Okay, in this movie what we're going to do is we're going to start to play with this cycle that we've made. And to do that I'm going to expand my timeline to 30, remember to encompass that last keyframe, and click the All button so I can see my keys. Now, remember I told you in class that the, the character of the walk is oftentimes generated by the passing pose. So we're going to concentrate on that and the impact poses more than anything. So for the pass, oh, now I'm going to get rid of some Z rotation in my feet, which I don't know how they got there, but that's all right. We'll deal with it. I don't know why that's there, but there, that took care of it. Okay, so here's our impact pose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to drop this down really far. Okay. And I'm going to pull this up to frame eight. And instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this foot up. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. And then I'm going to take this pole vector and I'm going to move the knee up here. Let's see what we got now. A little ball. I'm going to go ahead and move it, move this forward too. So now we've got a walk that looks neat. Pops it up and comes down. And then, of course, at 12, we've got our raising. Basically, he's kind of raised up. By the way, I'm going to do the same thing here. At frame 12, I'm going to really raise it up. Okay, now this little guy, I'm having a little bit of a problem here. Oh, I see. Then I'm going to delete this key entirely. So there you go. He's way out. I'll rotate it. Alrighty. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. There's the impact. Impact is coming down really hard. Going up here. And I'm going to mirror it. Although this guy, I'm going to really rotate it. Pull him out to the side. I'm reversing the rotation of the hips. Pulling these up and forward. Moving this up. I'm going to get rid of that one entirely. And then I'm going to go to my up pose. And I may not entirely. Invert these two, but I'll get close. So, what we get is this, and now I'll shift this back to twenty nine. And now I get something that's a little bit, a little bit goofy. Okay, that's one. So I'm going to put, I'm going to call this one Cycle V01. Click Save. I'm going to open up my other, the cycle that I had before, uh, one cycle. Okay, there's a, there, I actually did a couple of cycles here. And so here's, here's a good one. And now, again, we talked about all of these. Um, I talked about the passing poses. Well, what happens if we drop the passing pose down? Whoops. Make that passing pose low instead of high. 
what is that going to do? How does that change the walk? Suddenly it's more of a, of a crunch. The other thing that we can do is I can push this out in the impact and really rotate it. I do the same thing here. So that what you get now is more of a swish. Although for that, for a real swishy walk, I want to really put it over here. I'll raise him up to do that. And basically, what I want you to do for Tuesday is I want you to give me so now it's more of a more of an effeminate walk. Now there's there's more to be done with this. So we can also play with the timing. What I want you to do is give me three different walk cycles, different character, different give different character to the walk using just the passing and the impact poses. Um, and if it doesn't, it should look like a real walk. No Ministry of Silly Walks, but uh, it should fit into this. There should be three separate. Uh, cycles, and you'll go ahead and render out play blasts, and we'll take a look at some of them on Tuesday.